Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Notice there was not in any of that. If you're feeling it, give it. Or you're, there's no, when the song drops, then you move. It's like before anything, I come into a place as a follower of Jesus where I choose to obey him. He said, shout for joy to the Lord. He said, worship me with gladness. He said, come before me with thanksgiving. And why does he say that? Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Keep it on that verse, Psalm 100, verse 4. So when we begin, when we praise, it's not because God has an ego problem and he needs some affirmation. It actually begins to shift the atmosphere in your life. This is not a Sunday thing. This is a follower of Jesus thing. So at any space, in any place, in any attitude that you have right now, in anything that you're going through, you can begin to shift and move things. Now, some of you are not sure. So when we begin to worship, we're saying, God, you are worthy. Yes, I have this. You are worthy. This is going on. I praise you. I give you honor. I remind myself of all the times you have been there for me, of the time that you came through. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Not uh, when my favorite song is played, I will rejoice. I will rejoice. When the band is the A-team, are you guys A-team? I think you are, all the A-team. I will rejoice because here's what happens. Acts 16, two men were in a, in a prison, two men of God, in a dark place. They were not there because they deserved to be there. They were simply in a prison inside. Paul and Silas. It's a beautiful story near the end of the book or of chapter 16 in Acts. And it says that it was about midnight. They're in the inner prison in a difficult spot. This is the time to complain. God, where are you? Why is this happening to me? I don't like it. They didn't do that. It wasn't easy. They were locked up. And it says they, as they were worshiping and praying, or praying and worshiping, oh, in the middle of it all, I'm locked up right now. God, you're so worthy. Worthy is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Oh, God, thank you for saving my life. Thank you that you are good. Thank you that you're coming through for me. Thank you that you have always been faithful to me. And I began to do something like that. God, you're above all. You're worthy of it all. And what happened, it says, the foundations of the prison were shaken. The people... And then the, all the prison doors flung open. In other words, they were doing something in the natural that was supernatural and something supernatural happened. And sometimes we need to make something happen. And don't say it, don't misquote me. We un don't understand the power of praise to prepare a pathway for God to come through in your life. You're not waiting, you're not being a victim, you're not standing to watch. You just begin to praise. I don't feel like it in our culture. Well, I don't really mind. Because the Bible is, I will, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. He's worthy. I don't feel like it. That's okay. In a moment, you're going to begin to lead your feelings. And you're going to begin to praise. That's what your opportunity this morning. And here's the thing. You can say, I, am, I love to worship. And as you worship, the chains might fall off somebody else over there. The door might sling open for somebody around you. So we are not just making noise. We are not just having some time to warm up. We are actually worshiping and praising. Something significant is happening right now. Can I just invite you, if you're a follower of Jesus, lift your hands in the room 
and just begin to thank him right now for something that you have. God, I thank you for your provision in my life. I thank you that you've saved me. I thank you that you've redeemed me. I thank you that you've healed. I thank you that you set captives free. I thank you that you love me. I thank you that you are for me. I thank you that you're taking me through. I thank you that no weapon formed against me prospered. Let's begin. Come on, let out a shout on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's try it again. One, two, three. We worship Jesus. We worship Jesus. We worship Jesus. Hands up, let's hear the clap. King of kings, Lord of lords. Joy of the Lord. 